Hi, my name is Gamma Blob and today I will be showing you how to make a first person camera in Unity. So first let's make the script and let's name it FPS camera. Okay. And open. So first let's uh, create our variables. So first we'll make the public game object player and public game object camera these will be used to define uh, the player and camera objects in the unity editor then then we'll make the pub, uh, not public vector 3 uh, rotation of player and vector 3 rotation of camera these will be used to store the initial rotation of the player and camera so that we can change it we are taking these variables because unity does not allow us to change the rotation of uh, rotation of the game objects individually directly without using another variable i think that makes sense okay then we will make some float variables to get the input from the mouse first float mouse input x and mouse input y okay now let's uh, set the sensitivity of the mouse which will be will be using with the float uh, mouse sensitivity and let's set that to 2 okay now in the start function we will uh, set the rotation of the player and the camera in the variables which we made rotation of player is equal to uh, player dot transform dot uh, rotation dot euler angles we are using euler angles because the rotation is a quaternion variable and uh, who knows for the quarter name is I don't know and rotation of camera will be equal to camera dot transform dot rotation uh, rotation dot other angles okay now in the update function we will set the rotation of the uh, camera game object to camera dot transform dot no, we will set the position of the camera to the uh, player's position. Yes. So the camera will uh, stay at the head or body of the player and it follows it. Now we will get the input from the mouse. So mouse input x will be equal to input dot get axis raw from um, mouse x now we are using get access raw because uh, get access raw um, returns a value which is um, minus something or plus something and nothing in between or zero because if we use normal get access if you use the normal get access then it will also give values which are, which are in between those upper and lower limit values and that will mess up with the sensitivity of the mouse and we will multiply this value with uh, the mouse sensitivity okay and mouse input y is equal to input dot get axis for mouse y multiplied by the mouse sensitivity now to set the uh, values for the rotation variables the rotation of camera dot x is minus equal to um, mouse input y now we are setting the rotation of cameras x component and to the uh, mouse input y 
because right now I am moving the mouse in the Y axis but in unity when you see here when we change the rotation of the Y axis it moves in the what you would expect to be the X axis this is because let's say that this is the Y axis that when you move in the Y axis then you move like this but when you rotate about the, the X axis then you rotate like this so when you rotate about the y axis it looks like you're rotated rotating in the x axis i think that explains it also the reason that we're uh, subtracting the value of mouse input y from the x component of the rotation of camera is because when we look at unity um when we change the x rotation when we uh, go into the negative value then for some reason i don't know why it rotates to look upwards and when we go into the positive value then it rotates to uh, look down i seriously don't know why that is why it is like that okay then the rotation of camera dot y is plus equal to mouse input x this is for the same reason as i explained previously and we are adding here because um this part works like the way you would expect it to and rotation of camera dot z is equal to zero this is important because we don't want the camera to rotate in the z-axis in any case now rotation of player not x is equal to zero because we don't want the player to rotate in any direction except for the y-axis because if you rotate the player in the x-axis then you can see that at some point the player is just off the ground off the ground and it just wouldn't work yeah now the rotation of player dot y is plus equal to mouse input uh, x yeah. and rotation of player dot z is zero like the camera now let's set the actual rotation values of the game objects so player dot rotation oh, ah, player dot transform dot rotation is equal to quarter mean dot Euler uh, rotation of player we do this because it converts the quarter the rotation of the player is a quaternion value and then and i seriously don't know what the heck that is so this converts the quaternion value of the rotation of the player to a vector value which we can understand okay and the camera dot transform oh, oops camera dot transform dot rotation is equal to quaternion dot user rotation of camera yeah and another thing um we have to lock the uh cursor uh the mouse thingy so that it for some reason so cursor dot lock state is equal to cursor lock mode dot uh locked yeah and cursor dot visible is equal to false so that we don't see the cursor and it doesn't distract us yeah i think so okay and save now let's see if it works um so let's uh attach this script to the player game object and now in the editor we set the player game object and the camera game object 
and yeah let's see how this works okay and as you can see it is working nice also another thing um which is very important to do in your movement script uh the this thingy um i don't know you need to make sure that when you get the input from the keyboard you multiply that with transform dot forward so that uh, when the game of player game object is uh, rotated then it moves in the forward direction in with respect to where the player is looking for example if i remove this When you remove the transform dot forward and then transform dot right, then um, when you then the player moves, yeah. what the heck? Uh, sorry for some technical difficulties. Then uh it doesn't move uh, with respect to the uh, rotation of the player it moves in the global world axis i think yeah so that is important if you don't multiply the inputs with the uh, transform dot forward and transform dot right then the player irrespective of where the player is the rotation of the player is then it will move in the in these axes these are the global forward uh, z axis and the x axis for example if you rotate it like this then it won't go like this it will still move in the world's x and z axis i think that should explain it. yes okay okay so now as you can see we have a working first person camera yay